What's up, YouTube eyes? <clears throat> I'll show you another little thing I've been working on here. Uh, been doing a lot of work with spray foam and vinyl, black vinyl, peel and stick stuff. And I'm just trying to find things to do to show people how you can fix things. I did the video on my uh, truck here that I was foaming the fender walls and redoing vinyl and then redoing it again then painting it again. That's the second stage I'm in right there. I'm trying to form some fender walls because they were they were severely rusted out. But this is my uh, 07 F-150. I bought uh, I bought this 10 inch vinyl. I was gonna cover up the scratch was my idea. Put this 10 inch vinyl on all the way down and fix that scratch. Well Turns out, trying to put that shit on, it bubbles, it sticks immediately, it crunches. If you pull it, it stretches, it screws up. I couldn't do it by myself. I finally just gave up on it. But I had some of that vinyl that I already cut pieces for. So that's why I did that, tried that thing on the truck with vinyl. But also, my gas cap on the bodywork here on my truck. This was uh, had starting to get some rust coming through. So I... Uh, Took the cap off, took the whole assembly, took it out. I ground and sanded the inside rim and down in the bottom. Got everything really good and sanded up, cleaned up, and blah, blah, put a little primer on it, whatever. And then I, I took a bowl out of the house that I could put on here, and it was bigger than this cap. This was the size of the bowl that I had. So I cut the bowl, cut the, cut it out, used it the bowl as a, you know, a guider, and I, then I cut it out. Took it off, then when I had this whole thing out, I stuck that up there before I pulled the sticky back off. Put it up there and just kind of thought where I'd be centered. Made a little mark with pencil, just a little bit, you know, so that I peeled it off, stuck it on, made little splices, and just peeled it in, you know, stuck it in. And stuck it all around the outside. Well, this was, had some rust coming out here, it was looking really bad. And it, it's covered up pretty good now, so. And I got this idea because you can, I can follow my ass here. You can uh, you can buy gas cap covers, but a lot of them just adhesive stick onto this, so it doesn't really get any bigger. It doesn't cover it. And they had some other monster ass things and whatever, and I I didn't know about. It. I started thinking about the vinyl, and I thought, well, what a guy could maybe could do this. Now I could could have been a little more professional about the roundness of the cut and a couple other things, but again. This is my best truck. It's my 07, but you can see it's in pretty damn good shape. You know, it's not all rusted out or nothing. So that was another thing I got to come up with with the vinyl. So uh, you get a little rust around the walls. These things work really good too. I mean, look how far them damn things come up. Jeez, I had a little bit of bubbling. Just a little bit on this one, a little bit on that. Look at the size of these goddamn things. It'd be 10 years before the rust even gets to it. So that's a really cool idea. Anyway, I just wanted to show you that trick about the vinyl around the gas cap. That such an eyesore with that rust coming out and stuff. This is a really easy way to, to fix that too. And you can get whatever color you want. Vinyl, red, blue, white, black, green, doesn't matter. Whatever you think. I always end up doing anything on the bottom of my trucks I got to redo or whatever. I always do black. I don't care what color the truck is. Black seems to match everything. So... Just wanted to show you that little uh, trick about that vinyl for the gas cap. That's pretty cool. Uh, that's it. Bob's Lawn Service and Plowing. I'm out.